Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So to help improve uh, the status of the, the videos on this end and like how they should be approached editing wise, I've been looking at how other people have done them, have, have done their own content and how they usually, ha how their editors would usually do it if they are not editing it themselves. I, I started kind of studying that and seeing how I could relate in some kind of way. Not a copycat or anything, just I wanted it to be similar. And one thing I've noticed that seems to be a large pattern amongst all of them, which expect the same kind of thing in the videos that are on this channel from here on. The idea is that whenever a video has something that sticks out, edit at those points, but otherwise leave it alone. If you want to cut between things, edit those as well. But like I said, other than that, leave it alone. And that's something that I'm going to try to take an approach on. I have been trying to make sure that's an approach that's been taken for a while, but I feel like emphasizing on the approach itself might help a bit. Like later on, the video coming out later on today, there was nothing really sticking out. The only things that really provide any kind of uh, leeway at all to this statement are some cuts that need to be cut between. But other than that, that's really about it. Um, for joking, vid videos where I darp around a lot. When, like, for example, Dark Souls 1 Remastered. In that series, since I'm actually, I've grown really good at what I do on that particular game, um, I'm able to derp around to the point where I can actually make sure that a lot of it gets jokingly edited as long as most of what's being reacted to is still shown. Um, that happened so far, that's happened in all of the Dark Souls Remastered series. In a game like Pac-Man World Re Repack, for example, since I've played it once, and only once, it's still partially blind. But not just that, the factor of, like, for later, the later video, same, same game. Um, for that video, an aspect that should be pointed out is the factor that In the later video, there's going to be a lot of cuts where between different points in time, but nothing else really stuck out. So that's what you should expect for that one. It, it, Pac-Man World doesn't get very many joke edits a lot of the time, just due to the fact that I don't know it well enough. Zelda games. Those I know very, 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 very well, for the most part. If you were to throw one that I've never played before, which is like, out of the 15 games, it's like two or three of them. Not many. And I'm not including like remasters or remakes or anything like that. And, or I'm also not including stuff like... Like parodied projects. Or non-canonical stuff. Um... If it's anything other than those categories, then yeah, you can expect a lot of goof edits. As long as it was done after... When I started doing Tales of Symphonia and Chrono Trigger. Any videos after that, you'll find edits on circumstance like that. But if it's something that's either blind or just doesn't have anything that sticks out or nothing too interesting... Expect a normal video. This is something that I've noticed in a lot of editors on this platform in general. If there's nothing to note, don't edit it. Well, do edit so it looks good, but don't edit it to the point where like things have to zoom in. Or and The point of an edit, like showcasing certain aspects on the full screen, is to emphasize on certain parts. But if there's nothing to emphasize, don't edit it that way. Leave it alone. That's what, uh, all this kind of, all this being said, the reason I'm talking about this is this is what you guys should expect from this channel at this point. If there's something to emphasize or something to point out, expect an edit. Or don't. It could come out of the blue at some point. I don't know. I don't know what our editor's thinking at this point. <laughs> anyway. 
with that being said, I'm gonna leave this here. Figured I'd let you guys keep keep you guys updated on the thought process of the editing aspect of this. Thanks for tuning in the video, guys. If you liked it, make sure to give the video a like. And if you really like this kind of stuff, like these kind of updates, why not tune into the channel more often? Um, we have different projects on the way. One that should be coming very very soon. Once we're done with Wind Waker eight, uh, Wind Waker three hard run, and maybe. Twilight Princess 3 I'll run. Definitely Wind Waker, at least. As of right now, it'll be after Wind Waker, but we'll see. We got a project coming along the way, and it's going to be a doozy. It's going to be a fun one. Um, but with that being said, I don't know. Tune in the video if you got any ideas for projects that you'd like to see on here as well. Thanks for tuning in the video once again, guys, and we'll catch you guys later. See ya.